Uganda spends about a quarter of its budget on health. The 2010-2011 drought cost more than a whole year's public expenditure on health. So we need to take action collectively. There are also less visible but equally significant impacts like reduced agricultural productivity. Sometimes the farmers lose an entire harvest because rainfall doesn't arrive or it doesn't arrive in the usual amount or at the expected time and then when it finally rains there's too much water. You also agree that recent studies have shown that approximately 80% of loss of life from all natural hazards and 70% of economic losses from all natural hazards resulted from floods and droughts. An economic assessment of the impacts of climate change and costs in various sectors of the country is being completed. I'm convinced that designing appropriate medium and long-term climate adaptation programs and tools, including modern early warning and forecasting system, is an important part of mitigating such an impact. I have talked about budgeting, climate change budgeting. All of these members of parliament yearn for trees to plant and to advocate for planting of trees. But the government of Uganda has failed to put as a priority where to get the tree planting materials from. Thank you.